As is the case with most of the shit that I run across online, this is ironic. <laughs> These kids don't have the first clue what's going on, what reflects reality, and what they're shopping around is promoting the garbage that is getting in our way and fucking everything up. So this is the last slide in here. This is what I saw initially. And usually I'll pop in and look at things from They Live. As it reads, conspiracy theory is a term used by the mainstream media to hide information which they don't want you to know about. It's not to the point. It's an assumption for the most part. And there is information available to the public sphere if these kids pulled their heads out of their ass. Conspiracy theory. Warren Commission JFK. Just curious if it would bring it up. Originally, conspiracy theorist or conspiracy theory was dressed up as something, a defamation campaign, to discredit anybody who spoke out against the quote-unquote official findings related to JFK being shot in the head. It's also very telling that an inside job was conducted, an act of greater magic, where there was a blood sacrifice, and the very people pulling our strings wanted to make sure, they wanted to nip it in the bud, as it were, to punctuate it if anybody spoke out so that they were dressed up as fucking crazy. And people are still repeating this jargon instead of thinking for themselves. That's why it's important to dance back and figure out where it came from in the first place. Instead of, leave, instead of leaving superficial fucking garbage online like this. Teach the fucking kids the superficial shit at least. I'm talking about my version of superficial shit. Things that have roots and reflect the branches. Things that relate to reality and would teach you something worth knowing so that you understand where it came from. And how it's being uh, used to manipulate you and I. Instead of leaving some bullshit like this online that means nothing, goes nowhere, and is fuck all. It's a waste of time and energy. Look at how many people have clicked the heart sigil. I bet you no one has called bullshit in here because people don't challenge themselves, which means they aren't capable of challenging others. They can't challenge their peers. You know, the John Q. public. Out of the gates, you see two fucking Muppets using our master's emojis, which are social engineering stickers, in place to do away with abstract thought. That's why there's a bar of them at the bottom. I didn't know it would do that if I ran my finger over it, because I don't use this stupid fucking shit. <laughs> These things were written into the algorithm to subjugate us. In other words, to rewire your brain so that you do not think for yourself. You lose the ability over time to articulate your thoughts and emotions. Down the line, it will be harder and harder for the masses to convey complex thoughts and emotions. Which means you and I will be surrounded by simple people, by definition. Do you think it's easier to control people who think for themselves and are full of wild ideas and capable of abstract thought? Or do you think it's very easy to herd a bunch of fucking Muppets? in the direction you want them to, you know, to walk in lockstep towards. What say you? <laughs> this is just a fucking joke. Look, true, very succinct and accurate. Love this. Yup, so true. Fun fact, CIA created the term conspiracy theory. Ah. But they didn't dish up any details. It's pretty fucking vague. And it makes me wonder, does this kid know what I just rattled off? Or have they heard this rattled off in another fucking meme? Where you aren't taught a fucking thing. You don't understand. You don't have any fucking roots. And then you just repeat the same fucking copy of a copy of a copy of a copy. And it means fucking nothing. It means fucking nothing. What I rattled off in here today is superficial to me, and you can look it up, and you can prove what I said holds water and reflects reality. You can verify it. 
Now, based on what this kid said here, maybe you could rattle that off in a superficial Google search and it will actually show you something, maybe. Google is a tool of propaganda. We are using the DARPA internet and it's becoming more and more uh, overtly fascist. Everything we do online. By, I mean, this is, this is an age old agenda. This is where the internet was always going and most people haven't figured that out because they have no fucking foresight, which is why we've all supported this bullshit and paved the way for what's taking place today. I'm talking about polarizing positive vibes only, shadow banning, cancel culture. I'm talking about fucking censorship. People don't have eyes to see. That's also why people are praising this shit. I mean, there are no fucking facts in these fucking memes. But this kid said facts. You probably get the point. People are fucking stupid and they're fucking us up. Oh, look, so the earth is flat. <laughs> and then there's two social engineering stickers. <laughs> the flat earth and the globe theory are both outlines spoon fed to the masses by our masters. If people use the brain between their ears, they would know this. They would understand this. Now, in the event that you're functionally fucking retarded, and I realize most people are proud of that these days because it's been normalized as well. Um, <laughs> we live in a disharmonious system. Our guts have been fucked up, which means a lot of people are very, very fucking slow. It's affecting their brain. You know, as above, so below. As within, so without. It factors into how you and I function. Um... So they can't connect the dots anyhow, which means they can't fucking research. They can't sort anything out. So most people buy into one of the two polarizing outlines. Flat Earth is a globe theory. Flat Earth came first, then the globe theory, then the fucking Flat Earth again, because that's how our masters work. Instead of thinking for themselves. So in the event that you are functionally fucking retarded, you can't use either of those outlines as a tool. That's part of why they lie. They're useless. They're fucking useless. And this is what most people believe in. Of course, this kid's probably mocking the other one, which means it's relegated to a football game. What does that mean? It means this is the Hegelian dialectic at its fucking finest. Conquer and divide, blue versus red, the Doppler shift, if you will. It's pitting sunset against sunrise, crudely speaking. It's pitting man against woman. It's pitting... You against them. The other football game, or the other uh, team, having to do with this bullshit football game that you shouldn't be invested in and worried about whatsoever. And you wouldn't be if you were using the brain between your ears. In other words, anybody who sees this post, the vast majority, should be calling bullshit. They should be pissed off, they should be bothered by what they see, they should probably be saying things along the same lines as what I'm saying. And maybe there are some people out there. Maybe. But this also means if you're a good person, you need to rock the boat. You need to challenge others. There needs to be checks and fucking balances. If there aren't, shit like this gets wildly out of hand. And that's what we see because it is wildly out of hand. Let's see how many people are following this garbage. That means that, okay, we live in patently fascist times. This means that these kids, whoever's moderating this, is not censored. I don't think censorship should exist, but these days kids have catered to it, so it does. And they don't do anything to stop it. So it's a telltale sign when you see somebody that has this much traction based on the DARPA internet and our master's algorithm that's permitting this shit to get through. Which means this is what our masters want them to shop around. Another way to put that Again, if you're just very, very slow, your learning curve is fucking ridiculously steep. You and I do not pose a threat to our masters, which is why we have access to the DARPA internet. Just thought I'd breeze through here. See if anybody leaps out. Just curious. I see Dolores Cannon, that's old school controlled opposition. I saw some celebrity puppets. Terrence McKenna is controlled opposition. Alex Jones is controlled opposition. Is that Billy Carson? No, it's not. But Joe Rogan's controlled opposition. You would know this too if you looked into it. So is Bobby Hennett. 